Hi, this is Keontae here, and today I'm going to be reviewing the Moby Wrap, the Comfortable Baby Carrier. I'm trying this for the first time, so it may not be perfect, but it will give you an idea of how to wrap your Moby Wrap. It comes in this handy little sack, and it's in a huge roll. So when you unroll all the fabric, you'll get a booklet, which will explain to you how to do the different wraps. There are two options for wrapping your Moby, gathered and folded. Try both and find what works best for you. I'm going to be showing you the gathering method. When you first get your Moby, it comes in a roll. When you unroll it, it's just a long thing of fabric. What you wanna do is locate the logo, which just has a big M on it, and that will be your starting point. Start with the logo. You want to gather the, the Moby Wrap across your waist. So you want to kind of have the logo right on your navel. Cross the two ends around your back. Be careful you don't trip over the, all of the extra fabric that's on the floor. So this is how the front should look. So now that you have it crossed in the back, you want to take one of those ends and cross it over your shoulder. And as you're going along, you may want to do adjustments. And then you have the other end that's left. And you want to take that over the other shoulder. So it should form an X in the back. And then in the front, you're left with this. So you want to take, gather that material. You want to tuck the ends under the logo section, which is right here. So just kind of get that up. You want to cross them in the front of you so that they form an X as well. And the X should be at the chest part. You want to bring those pieces back behind you like you did in the beginning. And this time you can tie a knot right here or you don't have to tie the knot right here. And bring it around the front. And if you didn't tie a knot around the back, you can do it in the front right here. You can tie it in the front or on your side, doesn't matter. It's just whatever's left over, you do that. And you wanna double knot that. And kinda of tuck it away so it's not all hanging. So here you have the gathering method. And it's not perfect, this is my first time trying this, so I know that as I go along and do it again, it'll get better. So once you have the gathering method, the initial step, I don't have a baby, so I'm using the dog for now. And this is your baby on the opposite shoulder where you plan to place them. So most likely your newborn will be in a fetal position so here's a pocket that's formed on the opposite side. You want to just slide your baby into that pocket, making sure you cover their back, their shoulders, but making sure their head is out comfortably and they're not suffocating, obviously. And then you just want to slide the other piece over as well. Pull that logo piece up over the baby as well. And now you have this great little pocket. The baby's against you. They're skin to skin. Hopefully your baby's not going to lick you in the face like this little doggy. But see, you have this nice bond and you can hold the baby and it's just so much intimacy. It's really a great product to have. Now your booklet will contain other methods. For you to use and it's important that you follow the guidelines there are weight restrictions on here as well as age restrictions so there's different methods what i'm doing now is the newborn hold they also have the hug holds and they have the hip holds so it's a lot of great information in this booklet it's best that you read thoroughly and take advantage of the moby wrap 